Hey guys, JC here again. Wanted to give you an update on this guy, the next bit Robin. Uh, some, some real quick update for me. Still really, really liking the phone. I'm completely used to the hardware now. It still feels just as great as when I first got it. Really enjoying that. Software, still awesome. Still really loving the color scheme. Still really liking what they've done with it. Noticed a couple of places of lag. Uh, first place I noticed is when I'm trying to download apps and do other things at the same time. So apps downloading in the background or updating um, and then doing some other things. Um, but not significant, you know, a second or two, nothing major. Um, I haven't noticed much other lag than that. The uh, Another place I have noticed a little bit of lag is with the fingerprint reader. Sometimes when I click the button, it may take, um, you know, three or four seconds, maybe um, once every couple of weeks. Um, you know, it'll, it'll be significant that's enough to make me think that I didn't click it and have to click it again. And, it, you know, so just a little bit annoying, nothing too crazy. Definitely still usable, nothing weird at all like that. Um, so that's great. Still loving both of those things about it. Um, wanted to give you an update on battery life. Um, I wasn't, didn't give you an update yet because, uh, honestly the first few days and even the first couple of weeks of owning a new smartphone, it's really hard to get a solid update on battery life, really hard to get a solid feel of it. Um, so don't ever base the battery life of a phone off the first few days of owning it because uh, that's never a good idea because you're downloading apps, you're syncing, you're setting up, it's got background information, it's, it's, it's settling in, right? It's figuring out itself. It's discovering itself for the first time. So, um, don't base it off that. So I wanted to try to give you a solid, uh, you know, review, a solid, uh, guess, not guess, um, a solid, uh, whatever, a battery life. <laughs> um, battery life for me is good. It's nothing fantastic. You know, it's not uh, Galaxy Note 5 or Droid Turbo XL levels or any any other things like that. Nothing crazy um, good like that. But that's kind of to be expected because those are massive phones with massive batteries, right? Uh, I would say I'm getting a little bit above average battery life. Uh, well, I'd say more, maybe more average. Let's be, let's be fair. Let's say average battery life. Uh, when I first got the phone, mid-afternoon, I was reaching for a charger. Uh, but now it's more, you know, after dinner time. So six, seven in the evening, I'm reaching for a charger um, or having to turn on low power mode. Um, and the battery saver mode or low power mode, whatever you want to call it on the phone, works really well. You know, it gets me through the rest of the night or I can just plug it into my charger. You know, either one works just fine. Uh, but again, battery life is always going to be, be dependent on usage, right? Uh, screen on time, how often you're using your phone, how much you use your phone, what you're using it for. Those are all things that are going to help or hurt battery life. Um, for me, I would say I'm a little bit above average user, maybe. Uh, I'm definitely not a power user. I don't play too many games on my phone, um, but I do use it quite a lot. I'm using it throughout the day, uploading pictures, you know, writing things down, taking notes, uh, checking Facebook, sending texts, phone calls. So I, I would say I'm a little bit above average user. And again, for me, battery life, about after dinner, you know, six, seven o'clock in the evening, I need a charger or a low battery or a power saver mode. So that's that for me. Your usage may vary, you know, my mileage may vary. So keep that in mind. Um, but it's definitely, definitely usable. Nothing unusual, nothing unheard of on, um, you know, major smartphone, major flagship phones that we see. So nothing to worry about. Um, so that's that. I also wanted to give you an update on some really awesome news coming out of Nextbit uh, themselves. Basically, they've announced two updates, software updates. The first one is extremely minor, just a little bug fix that's actually already available. So if you have a Nextbit, go ahead and check your software update. If you haven't in the past couple of days, and there should be an update. Uh, it fixes, they didn't really give a specific change log. They just said it fixes um, a bug with location-based apps such as Uber, things like that. Um, so you should see better performance there. You should see less crashing there of, of location-based apps such as that. Uh, the, the other one, though, is a pretty massive update that's coming later this month, uh, April. Um, and I'll give you some real quick, uh, basically what they said. Um, they put a video on YouTube. They tried to do a Periscope update, and they had some technical difficulties, but now they've posted a video on YouTube kind of detailing a little bit more. But I'll go through it there, so you don't have to sit there and listen to it. Uh, performance improvements. Performance and battery life enhancements are always things to be expected in a big software update, and they claim that they can deliver. So, awesome. Good on next bit for that. Uh, better battery life is always better, as is better performance, right? So, good for that. Uh, the second thing they're announcing is Marshmallow 6.0.1 which is pretty exciting. Most exciting because it brings uh, security updates, right? So hopefully it'll move us a little bit forward on the security patches because it still ships with 6.0 and January 1st security patch. So hopefully it'll update us there. Um, also, if you're a big fan of emoji, you're getting some new emojis. Yay. 
I'm not a huge fan of emojis, so I could really care less. Uh, but you're getting um, Taco Burrito Unicorn, basically bringing it up to date with Google's new keyboard emojis. Again, I don't really care. I use smiley faces every now and then when I'm texting some of my students, but that's about it. So, um, I'm not a huge fan of emoji. So, uh, anyway. Uh, but that's exciting. If that's exciting for you, then that's exciting. A um, few other minor updates. Uh, speakerphone. They've increased the speakerphone. They made it said they made it louder, uh, which is always good. You know, I in better quality. Um, I had a couple people say it sounded like a little bit of an echo on the speakerphone, so it'd be better on both ends, which is good and exciting. Sorry, I'm <laughs> reading my notes because I can't memorize all this. Um, the auto brightness. Uh, being able to not see the screen when you walk outside was a bit of a problem. Um, wasn't uh, unusable again. It was just a little annoying, but they claim they fixed that. So awesome. We'll see how that works. Um, and the really thing, the thing I'm most excited about is my two biggest complaints I had about the phone. I don't know if you guys remember, but um, a couple videos ago I said the camera and the speakers um, were my two biggest uh, disappointments of the phone so far, uh, and they claim they're fixing those. So awesome! They say the speakers have gotten a lot better sounding, which is good. They say they've been able to tune the speakers and the amps. For those of you that don't know, the speakers and an amp have to work together to be able to make good quality sound, um, or even sound at all. <laughs> But anyway, they say they fixed that, so or at least made it a lot better, which is great because I love the speakers on this phone. They say they've even gotten it louder. Didn't really need loudness because it was plenty loud for me, but quality was always something great because for me, um, anything above 60-65% volume on the phone was sounded really janky and just not good. Um, so they're fixing that, which is awesome. Camera! They're fixing the camera, guys! They're fixing the camera! Next bit, listen to us, and they're fixing the camera. Oh, I'm so, so, so excited. They said they've removed a lot of the lag. Um, their video on YouTube gets a little bit more technical about how they did that. I don't really care how. I'm just glad that they did it. So, very exciting. Um, they showed a little demo. The camera's about twice as fast, literally, which is awesome. Um, even in low light, they say there's been a lot of optimizations in low light photography. So, when you're taking all those selfies in the club or wherever you take your low light selfies, um, and rear camera, um, should be great. They didn't say specifically about the front facing camera, but hopefully the rear facing camera will get a lot better. Um, so that's it, you know, massive update coming out of next bit, which is awesome. I'm still loving the phone. Um, I'm working really hard on doing a couple of comparisons for you guys. If there's a specific phone you want to see, be sure to comment, please subscribe and like the video guys. The, the, that really, really helps. If you like what I'm doing and you want to see more, I need you to like and subscribe. Um, it's the only way I can keep this going. Um, if you like what I'm doing, you don't like what I'm doing, you think I'm weird and crazy, let me know in the comments. Uh, like I said, if there's a specific phone you want to see or you have specific questions about the next bit, be sure to ask those in the comments as well. Okay? I love you guys. Appreciate you listening. Um, oh, camera samples. Camera samples are coming very, very soon on my Instagram page, which is jcstech137 on Instagram. So be sure to follow. Camera samples are coming very, very soon. Um, with current sam camera samples, and then as soon as the new update drops, I'll bring you more camera samples. Um, see if there's any any quality change. So anyway, I'm done talking. I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. I love you. Peace.